Hey, nice to see you again. Today we're going to talk about the problem, the base problem of uh, S3, X3 bikes that um, I tried to solve by lowering the charger voltage, which solved about 30 or 40 percent. But still, there is a problem, a base problem that today I'm uh, talking to all electronic repair shops, especially in Netherlands, because I spoke with uh, some uh, people in Netherlands and uh, I've heard some bad, bad problems regarding the, the Van Moof bikes. They're catching on fire. And uh, after uh, <laughs> a thousand repairs, I know why they catch on fire, because electricians in Netherlands, they uh, just uh, short things out by running a wire from charge side to VP and solving the problem. But you don't solve the problem like that. Maybe you just uh, make yourself some quick money, but that is a time bomb. So make sure you avoid those uh, services because you're gonna leave your bike on charge and you will catch fire and this is a no 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 yes i'm gonna show you what to do as a professional repairer to solve this bike's problem forever is just small bits but you will solve it forever and uh, at least we can squeeze another one or two years out of this electric bike. For those of you who want my help in repairing this issue, you can send me the BMS. Yeah, it's just a small BMS. You can pack it and send it. Uh, I fix a lot of them because I'm doing it well. And that's why people, they're sending me so they sort the problem of their bike. So please watch because I want you to fix yes. the problem. So let me make some space. Is something that I want to do because somebody told me that in Netherlands batteries catch fire. This is refurbished, but it's good. So this is this battery comes from a shop and it's coming because if we don't do this modification the battery will pop the fuse again and again and again so what I'm going to show you now is as a shop repair as an electrician I know there are thousands coming in and I want to sort this out. So these two diodes here, they're supposed to be diodes, but they're not. So what's the problem? This type of cells, they blow on charge and they're blowing on charge because of, of a voltage. So I just opened this. This is good, this is good, and this is good, okay, so we know this channel is good, fuse is good, but we put on diode mode, and we check these diodes, these are special diodes. This uh, will fool you because it shows that it has continuity in this way, but it's not good. I know already. So these two diodes, look, how many I chain. What you need is a special diode. Uh, this diode in this system, so this is uh, minus, yeah, ground side. This is charge side, this is discharge side, and this is VP, the cell side, yeah? So when the charge is happening, uh, the charger is crazy and is giving more than this BMS needs, and the voltage is rising. 
uh, especially at the end. And uh, because these diodes are not existent anymore, uh, is blowing this fuse for safety. So these two diodes is a must to replace. Yeah. On top of problems that you find, maybe uh, this MOSFET is uh, maybe this MOSFET is not good. Maybe these. Maybe this. Maybe the control on this side is not good. Uh, these are different issues, so I cannot solve them in one video. Even if I do live videos, you will uh, end up having um, different kind of problems to everyone. But this battery doesn't have any problem. The only problem is that before we fit it to a bike, we have to replace these two diodes. Because I did like over a thousand of, uh, of them and uh, none of them are good. So these diodes would, will protect the, the BMS over 72 volts, which is not good for us. We need, we need this diode, which I uh, found that is working, is uh, S SMAJ40A. have this about this diode will open up the other side and you will over spill into the negative to keep this voltage steady now i want to show you now i'm um, so this is the diode is a bit smaller but it's well so this too you need to change and replace with this i still charge with the, the amp meter so I can see the wattage and uh, just to make sure that this is right. So these are ready made. Those are like waiting. <laughs> Those are waiting as well. So yeah, in order to completely fix this, you need to take care of these two because these are responsible for blowing the fuse on your bike. Thank you all for watching and uh, I hope uh, you had fun and uh, I hope you learned something. I want to tell you that if you don't replace those diodes, your bike will pop the fuse when you roll it to the street, when you roll it back, when you cough, when you do anything, when you forget the charger for long on uh, the bike and many, many other issues because those diodes are responsible to clump the voltage and when it's rising, those diodes will take the, the hump of the voltage and pull it back into the ground and uh, that's why um, those bikes have problems. Uh, most of them supposed to have good working diets and I always check them in the system because they often fail. And um, in the, my experience, I start looking out for good, good, strong diets that uh, I can use in my repairs. And uh, uh, those are very very good in this system so the diodes uh, i chose for these repairs is uh, the sma j 60a which what they do is work as a normal diode and uh, when the voltage is rising to 40 it will start clamping but not fully just a bit they open they, they open uh, the system backwards, they clamping voltage. And then when you see spikes, either when you roll the bike in the street or you roll back, the motor is uh, shut, you make spikes. The motor makes spikes and those spikes are responsible for blowing fuse. Charger is responsible for blowing fuse. So that's why it's essential for you to replace those diets on your repair. Um, please keep following me because I'm going to have more and more solutions. And uh, if you see, like, uh, I know uh, some people are calling me, uh, they see error 2 and they don't know what it is, error 2 and 20. That's 
the error from your smart module that tells you that you have a short on your power MOSFETs. So I recommend you not rolling the bike anymore, just shut it down and uh, remove the smart unit and send it for repair. You send it to me or you send it to electrician or you replace it or whatever you do, but don't use it anymore. Also, sometimes the, the motor is noisy. So when you hear that noise, like in the motor, something is not right, you know that one phase of your, out of your three phases is shorted. So one phase is shorted. But the problem is that it's shorted pen permanently. So when one phase is going on the other, it makes that noise. Yeah. And also you don't have that much power and you drain the battery quick. So uh, you know that when you hear that on your C or you see error 2 and 20, you know you have those problems. Also, I'm going to make videos how to sort your Bluetooth, how to sort your uh, your other other things, motors. I'm going to do lots of batteries and so on and so forth. So please, please follow me. Have a great day.